Thank you for listening and welcome to the Life Podcast, a proud member of the Eventide Entertainment Podcast Network. I'm your host, Don Smith. Jeffrey Daniel continues to disappoint us by not being Jeff Daniels. Kyle Steele is back to tell us the heartbreak of his Nicolas Cage experience. If you enjoy the show, like and follow The Life 1069 on Facebook and Don Smith Comedy on Twitter, or tune in live on Tuesdays from 7 to 9 p.m. on WWSU 106.9 FM, or you can stream the show live at WWSU1069.org. Overwhelms me. A brutal presence. Now you've been staring over that edge for hours. And people die down there. And dying when you're not really sick is really sick, you know? Really. Okay. All right, we're back. <laughs> Did you remember it? One double zero fifty six. Perfect. Perfect. You guys are awesome. I knew there's a reason I had you in here. You got it. Was that better off dead? Yes. Was that, yes. Yeah. 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 So, but before the uh, first break you guys took, you did uh, put the bunny in the box. Yes. Yeah. Well, I, I actually put all those ones on there when it, with the first one we did in here. Because uh-huh. we did Con Air when you came in kind of took over my show yeah. for the Nicolas Cage movie review hour podcast. Yes. Uh, yeah. It's yeah. good introduction. Kyle, there we go. Kyle Steele. I'm introduced now. Kyle Steele <laughs> is, is back in the studio that again. Was good. That was a good story. Yeah. Like yeah. yeah. It was. That was a good yes. story. I was Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> you introduced me without actually introducing me. Right. So good right, job. Right. right. And uh, some other guy is still here as guest co- uh, Jeffrey mm-hmm. Daniels. Jeffrey Daniels. Uh, I am still Jeffrey here. Jeffrey Daniels is I don't, still I don't here understand the disdain between you two. I don't. That has to be a. Uh, it's it's a love hit. I'm, I'm I'm his quirky sidekick for yeah. the day. <laughs> okay, yeah, and, for the day. <laughs> sure, he's here to make. Me I'm look just better. shocked that Scotty yeah. Mays isn't here. So and, yeah, it he's happens spirit, every now though. and then. Yeah. He was actually on the last two shows. And they oh, I know. They wouldn't let us air. They wouldn't let it. Yeah, so yep. because of soccer, so I thought, okay, I'm not booking Scotty anymore, and here they let me back in. So, well, there we go. <laughs> I think that's all you had to do. I'm just I, kidding. I think his triceps are still on the couch over there. Well, what happened is that the the he wanted on last week's episode, but mm-hmm. the one before that, I had a guest co-host planned uh, who has uh, decided to cancel on me the day of again. Mm. So I was kind of scrambling. Don't I was like, Scotty, save me. Because Sco- Scotty, that's what Scotty do. That's what Scotty do. Scotty do. <laughs> Scotty, uh, he the, he's the man. That's what Scotty do. So, yeah, that's what Scotty do. And and Ed John... Uh, has has moved on. That that hey, was who John, that was who canceled did it to me twice. Uh, as guest hey, oh, I, I love Ed, but uh, no that's that's why we kicked him out of state. He's heading west now. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he's a, he's out in out in L.A. Is he there yet? Like I, 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 I saw he, a post where he was his, like in uh, Louisville doing. A is show. he seriously going out to L.A.? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's he, one of those. He's, well, he's no, got he's, he's got a job out there. So yeah, he he had a job offer. You know, he didn't. He didn't do it. He didn't do a GoFundMe okay, to sure. follow his dreams. So. Okay, which hey, there's nothing wrong with hey, that. I'm not, I supported yeah, a GoFundMe the other day. Do your thing. I just supported one today that I think you shared. Oh, uh, it was a uh, director Henrik Kuto or that William. Was, they was trying to get uh, the a franchise. Baby, yeah, Babysitter Massacre. I, I just supported franchise. it today. Yeah, yeah, I was like, I I watched his video. I was like, it's a good video. Have, have you Have it. you met Henrik? I have not. Great guy, great he guy to seemed, work with. I like him. Film. I, I I've been involved in a handful of his films in the past I've written couple horror years. Shorts before I'd love to like try to get. I have a couple more that are like in the in the bag. Yeah, there I'd you like go. To see about to get something done. Yeah, H- Henrik Henrik does really good work. I enjoy working with him and the and the cast and crew he puts together. Always always good people, and uh, he gets his movies out there. Babysitter Massacre uh, has been fairly popular. Oh yeah, in the uh, the the babysitter horror genre, <laughs> <laughs> and he is trying to turn it into a a, a, a franchise. Genre. He's doing yeah, he's he's trying to do. Uh, you can do babysitters. Trying to do, do t- yeah, uh, one, yeah. of, one of them. Yeah, we we can't. Well, I guess it's all it on is the, baby, it's baby all on the thing. Yeah, babysitter Christmas, yeah. babysitter Christmas, and babysitter camp. Yeah, wow. So, <laughs> so yeah, the, uh, go go to uh, go yes. to helpmekillpeople dot com. Yep. Mm-hmm. And that that's the website for it for the uh, GoFundMe. the, the GoFundMe so they're you the can ones get that to, took it. Dang it! Yeah, <laughs> there, yeah, there you go. You were looking for it. But I just had to use Craigslist. That so. was mine. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's the original. Help yeah. me kill people. Yeah. Dot com. yeah. <laughs> but no, I know what you did. I remember the movie you did. 
last we, weren't, we were talking about this off air, but I remember the movie that you did, the second movie you did, The Frozen Ground. The Frozen Ground. With John Cusack. The that's right. That's right. Movie. That's right. Yes. And that was actually pretty good. Yes. yes. Froze, the Frozen Ground. That actually, was a good it, it, one. It, yeah. was a very, it was a surprisingly so good movie. So technically I did three because we did Con Air in here. We did here, Con Air in here. Know? And then we did uh, Bangkok Dangerous. <laughs> Which is... Which one of the was, worst movies I've ever oh, seen. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a little jealous you got to be caught on air, though. Yeah, I'm a little bad. jealous of that. Yeah. Well, it, it was in the radio. It was live. It was. We did it on live the on the radio. So it's, oh. it's a whole different experience. It was. As you know. As I, I'm knowing. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. In process of knowing. But no, Henrik's a good director to work with. I always, always try to support his, uh, his things when he does them. He hasn't done a GoFundMe in a while. I think the last time he did a GoFundMe was for. Uh, um. Can't even think of the name of the movie. Hey man, that's I, w- true. I was in it. <laughs> that is, <laughs> uh, nothing good ever happens. Was the last last GoFundMe he did, and I mm-hmm. think it was fully funded in like thirteen hours. Wow! wow. I mean, I mean this he's, one he's is got well fans on its way. And he's got support. Yeah, it's only been this out for a little over. Well a day. on its way to yeah. being done. So it, it was over fifty percent in a little over a day. Yeah. So that's yeah, true. he he he's got he's got the fans. He's got the support. Mm-hmm. He uh, he makes really good movies. Another movie you can support. I shared that on there too. I can't. I don't have the. I don't have the website right off the top of my head. But if you go to the help Don uh, kill people the, help Don com. kill people. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, no. Uh, Seven Deadliest Sins is a new yeah. one. We're, oh, we're okay, starting yeah. a film with uh, with William Lee, and I, I was. Uh, there's a, a a picture posted. It's it's on my Facebook page and on the Life Facebook page and on all that. Out and in I, front of Wiley's. Out in front of Wiley's. Yeah. And I stalk you, Don. I, you noticed that I'm, I, I'm able to I record noticed, this stuff? Yeah, okay, absolutely. Where you're in a rush to get inside. Yeah, well, I, I'm walking down. I got the camera guy mm-hmm. that's that's walking backwards filming me. I'm carrying a gun right in front of the marquee at Wiley's, mm-hmm. and I'm because I'm going down the alley to kill somebody for mm-hmm. uh, you know for the movie, and. I'm, I'm I'm looking at this picture, and I instead of thinking, "Wow, I'm in a movie that I'm also a producer of," mm-hmm. and I'm walking past the marquee on a comedy club that I own, and instead of looking at those positive things, yeah. the only thing I see is I left the P out of improv on the marquee, <laughs> and I was furious because that's all I can see when I look at that picture now. Instead M-Rov. of the whole oh, wow M-Rov. moment I didn't M-Rov. think I'd be here four years ago, all I'm looking at is improv and going. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> That's about the the first live show we did at Wiley's. Uh, the oh, I I we did pictures and stuff, and I'm looking at the pictures and just going, "Man, I'm so much fatter than I." Ever thought. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, I had no, I, well, I wasn't yeah. excited at all. I'm like, yeah. I have really <laughs> let myself go. <laughs> pictures from now on are gonna be shoulder up. Woo! Yeah, like, like I the, yeah. I literally <laughs> the next time we did a show, swear to God, next time we did a show, I sat on the other side of the table. So that way you didn't get the side profile. <laughs> the whole time. I yeah. knew just I remembered yeah. the picture. I'm like, now we're doing front which listen, right. front profile isn't isn't great, yeah. but side profile, Kyle. This you're looking at it right yeah. now, Mr. <laughs> Jeffrey. It's not great. That's why it's we're on radio, so it's okay. Yeah. Sure. So I need to go. He's a little profile. excited yeah. by it though, but he's, yeah. he's, well, he's, he's yeah. we have a we have a history. Yeah, yeah he he like he likes uh, bears and chubby chase. He's a chubby <laughs> chaser. You know? Chubby chaser. Yeah. Chubby. <laughs> Why did you guys get Wisconsin? I was like, chubby chaser. Chubby. He's a chubby chaser. He just felt like going there. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. So how's the Nicolas Cage uh, movie review hour podcast? That is such a long name, and yeah, I love it. Yeah. Well, How, how's it been going? The Nicolas Cage movie review hour. Uh, Don, I'm sad. It's it's winding up. It, well, it's worth, don't feel bad. So I've been I, Jeff Daniels all day. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a hard one to compete with. I, uh, we just posted episode seventy, Mo- so it's movie number seventy. That's not counting the bonus movies, like right. Fast mm-hmm. Times Bridgemont High and yeah. Snowden, a uh, couple other ones that I'm not going to list because no one's going to know them. But so it's that, it's episode seventy plus all the bonus ones, um, and I think there's seventy six movies. We already have two recorded that are just waiting in the queue to be posted. So we have f- four movies left to be recorded, and then we're that's, done. That is, we're that's done. sad. And the me. four that are left, I've seen. So I oh, have now officially, so <laughs> as I sit here in front of you, Don and Jeff, uh-huh. I have seen every Nicolas Cage movie in existence, to include any movie where he has a producer credit. A writer credit doesn't matter what it is i have now seen it officially i took a quiz uh you I, have no idea how much i admire you i was on i was on i was on a podcast the other day and i did a 15 question quiz 
and it was uh, quote expert unquote. I got fifteen out of fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is oh, like, like Cage. yes, Nick Cage. it is. You are the Nicholas Cage <laughs> expert. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, if anyone has any questions about he, Nick Cage, he kept referring to me as that, and I was like. Wow, that sounds awful. <laughs> <laughs> sounds atrocious. Of all the things to be an expert at. It's crazy, but now I have, I do, I will say, I don't know what I started out to achieve. Wasn't there a game show called Beat the Geek? Oh, yes, and, yeah, and I could there, do it. Yeah, you could like definitely the be the guy and stuff. Yeah, like I, yeah, the only thing the is Nick I don't Cage know, geek. I don't know anything about Nic- like Nicolas Cage's personal life. It's all about like, his movie life. I, yeah. I, right, I can do right, all the right. movies. I don't know anything personal. I couldn't tell you his birthday. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know that kind of stuff. Nicholas Cage personal life review hour. See, that's net. <laughs> that's the next podcast. We're gonna go into the baby personal a, life. Yeah, there's some stuff I know, like obviously the Young family Nick tree, Coppola. like he's a Coppola, and I got right. that. But I mean, for the most part, it, it's just movies. Mm-hmm. Um, and I again, I don't know what I like started out to try to achieve in doing this podcast. Yeah. So you don't know if you've so I don't know if it. I accomplished it. But <laughs> I, I will say that I have a very new perspective, not just on like Nicholas Cage, but like a new perspective on movies. Yeah. Like I've really now fine tuned. Well, your your description, like what you what you deem to be a, a bad movie, has got to be a lot lower the a bar oh, yeah. than what I deem to it's be. Like a that bad episode movie. of South Park, you know? the raising the bar episode. Do you guys remember that one? Yeah. Anybody? Vaguely, that's like yeah. that's like how yeah. I feel. Like it, it. My bar now for what a bad movie is is just so, <laughs> so low. low. <laughs> like I, we had a guest. You've like, seen every Nick. Cage well, we've had movie. guests yeah, on that's... for movies that kind of suck. Like they're not great. They're not bad. Or whatever. Mm-hmm. And the people are guests, right? Who. They've seen three Nicolas Cage movies in their entire life, right. and they never expected to watch this off the wall one from 1992. Oh yeah, and they're like, "Yeah, this is terrible." And I'm like, "It's really not, though." Yeah, like, this you know really what I mean? Like, it. you have wasn't no bad. idea. Sir. You haven't yeah. seen Firebirds. Like, this isn't bad. Like, trust me, you've never seen Bangkok Dancers. Like, this isn't that bad. You really, Don, you really did have one of the worst movies. It's an you honor. really did. It is like, an honor. I, uh, right. But I will say that Dan Dean, I think, takes the kick. I think Dan, Dean, Dan Dean did a movie called Firebirds. No, Dan Dean takes the pie. Dan Dean takes the pie. I don't know what that means. Oh, that's that's a Dan Dean thing where he's uh, he's upset that people call cheesecake cake oh, okay. because it's pie. Oh, sure. Yeah. Dan Dean so. takes the cheesecake. Yeah. And he has, he has cheese a, pie. A, <laughs> cheese pie. <laughs> but it, he had, I think, the worst movie that I've ever seen. What what was that? It was called Firebirds. Firebirds, and it is it's with Tommy Lee Jones of all things. Oh wow! And it is I, Don. I wouldn't write this down. I'm right. I'm yeah. telling you, it, it was such a slog. It's one of those movies. It's like an like you're watching it, and you're like, you feel like you're watching Titanic. Like as far as like just how long it is, you're not invested whatsoever. Like the right. actual ship, not the movie. <laughs> yeah. Just you're watching yeah. it sink. You're oh, watching man, it sink. This, like, this is taking forever. Taking a long time. <laughs> Um, it is cold out here. <laughs> it's pretty chilly. Should have chocolate. brought a sweater. <laughs> yeah. um, but it's it's such a slog. And then you get to the end of the movie, and it's an hour and twenty one minutes. <laughs> like it, it's hardly even considered a movie. Like, it was it's not, even an, it's it was not even an hour and a half. Yeah. This is just a long episode on yeah, a documentary I mean, show. Like, <laughs> there, there've literally been shows like episodes on HBO that are longer than this movie, mm-hmm. and wow. the movie felt like forever. Oh my lord! We paused it fifteen times. It was so hard Just to watch, catch your so hard to get and, yeah. through. You like pause it and you're like, "All right, stretch." Right. Yeah. I don't even smoke, but I need a cigarette. <laughs> yeah, cigarette. I'm, I'm like, I don't even smoke, and I'm done. Oh, that that is bad because Bangkok Dangerous. I mean, we, it's pretty rough. They, 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 at least it was, it was, it was pretty rough. But the, it was I. It was very entertaining. But that has I my thought. favorite. That does have to this day. Your think, favorite what, hair? No, God. Your favorite Nick no, Cage favorite hair, hair is not, a movie let's called. Let's not get into Nick Cage's hair. <laughs> favorite hair. <laughs> favorite hair is a movie called Next. A movie called yeah. Next. Uh, th- That's I my that. favorite. I haven't Julian seen Moore? It, but, yeah. Julian Moore. Uh, I don't who's, remember. Who's yeah, she's Julian Moore's in it. Right. Yeah. She plays like a bit role. Um, she's like the FBI. I thought I was going to have gonna... to beep you for a second. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> she plays like a bit role. Yeah. Um, not not a female dog role. Uh, Jessica Biel is the girl. <laughs> oh in my it? gosh, is she the girl in it? Yes. Right? And that's that. When we did the movie next, it's what started this thing with Nicolas Cage movies because we did it pretty early on, where we realized that these just ridiculously attractive women mm-hmm. would fall for Nicolas Cage <laughs> in these movies for no reason. I mean, he would be in a movie with just the most attractive woman ever, and these women become infatuated with him. 
and he's always plays that <laughs> like character where he's pushing him away and stuff. Well, yeah, and you're like, yeah. what in the world? Like, because it, it, behind the scenes, it it almost, tell me about your uncle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it almost it almost removes you out of the movie when you realize like that woman's way too hot for that dude. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like even if you didn't know who Nicolas Cage was, like that woman's mm-hmm. way too attractive. Yeah. 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 Whoever yeah. that what, person is, going, he must but have his money. hair in that movie is crazy. Um, yeah. But yeah, they but have, you're, you, were, you were yeah. Back Bangkok to it, yeah. Dangerous has one of my favorite scenes, and it's where he is talking to the he's talking to his girlfriend that he mm-hmm. randomly gets that doesn't speak English that doesn't speak English, but is also <laughs> deaf. Okay, now hold on, it gets way better. Okay, she does not speak English, and she is deaf. So what does Nicolas Cage do to communicate to her? Talk in really slow, broken English. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. So he's so yeah. she is deaf and can't understand English. And he goes, "Where are you going?" I mean, it is like <laughs> it's horrible. One of my favorite because you're like, like was this written this way or was this Nick Cage making a decision? Yeah. <laughs> he took an expert an excerpt yeah. from a night like a 1950s cowboy yeah, movie. Maybe she wonder, reads like, lips like, yeah. in English. It's oh. weird, but the, but then he does it in a way that she couldn't. If she could understand right. English, she certainly can't understand <laughs> broken <laughs> English. Yeah. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. Even if she could understand English, like she, she's not going to understand that. Luckily, uh. his hair is fluent in Taiwanese. <laughs> right. right. But I think it's like yeah, but his hair was signing yeah, the whole time. Hair had, <laughs> yeah. It was doing the sound like, in, in, yeah. in Chinese. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In Mandarin, actually. Yeah, but yeah. It's, I don't want to say Chinese. Um, yeah, yeah, you didn't want to get you, corrected by I just some think he, radio yeah, show Somebody's going to be like some pretentious is going to be like it's not Chinese yeah. Mandarin. Um, it's actually Cantonese. Depends on what problem. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I, I also think that that might be a decision. Like we watched a movie called I did this one with Wayne Mimmit. It was called Outcast. It was with the guy Hans Christian. Hans Christian, whatever his yeah, name is, he was in like. Yeah, no, I, no, not that guy. Yeah, okay. d- different guy. Yeah, I didn't different know he was guy. Still around? <laughs> he's not. Okay. Um, but he did a movie with him where he, he's in the beginning of the movie and he disappears for a while. Uh, he's like the character does, and then when the character comes back, uh, he has an eye patch, and the eye patch is like uh, or he doesn't have an eye patch. Sorry, he's missing an eye. He's not wearing an eye patch, and you can clearly see Nicolas Cage blinking. <laughs> like, he's just closing his eye, and he's, like, blinking it because yeah. his eye will, like, pop open. Yeah. But then he also is wearing a snake around his wrist, like a bracelet. That's just the thing he For does. the rest yeah, of the not? movie. That's... And and we talked about it on the podcast. He just showed up at the set. Yeah. Like okay, that, so that, here you go. I'm that not was taking the, it off. That was the third movie that we ever did of the podcast. Mm-hmm. And again, set the tone for the next 70 episodes <laughs> where we realize that we truly think that there are just things that Nicolas Cage just does. He just walks on to set and mm-hmm. says, this is what I'm doing. And the director goes, no, actually, we're not. He's like, all right, roll. Right. And then the director's yep. like, oh, OK, OK, yep. uh, I guess this is what we're yeah, doing now. Right. Like we, the we voice, and, the okay. voice <laughs> and Peggy Sue got married. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> I think he's just making decisions. Well, I think that's yeah. how I think that's how his little player's jacket got him. We 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 talked about we this did. when I was on the show. Yeah, like there's there's he uh, just decides I'm wearing this jacket. There's a recurring leather jacket that yeah. he wears in a bunch of movies yeah. for no yeah. reason. Mm-hmm. It's he like just gets it's, to decide it's the it. knockoff Wolverine jacket, or I don't know. Maybe he started the trend. Maybe yeah, could be. Yeah. Maybe Marvel straight thieved it. Yeah. He, he is, so you're saying he is Wolverine? Yeah. No, I'm saying he's he a started, trendsetter. He's, yeah. He started the trendsetter. Logan took it from him. Oh, okay, I like yeah. to think that he's Logan's, just a, Logan's a thief. The fictional character Logan. I'm He's calling him out as a thief. Okay, good. Right now, because I feel pretty confident I can get away with something like that. Yeah, yeah you don't think he's listening? I don't think so. what you're saying? <laughs> well, yeah, I don't think <laughs> Stan, Stanley's not coming after me. Well, maybe somebody's going to listen and mm-hmm. let him know. That's right. Something and he's going to listen. That's right. He's not listening. Yeah, he's mm-hmm. probably not going to Certainly not on the radio, because I don't know who you guys need to talk to to get your signal boosted. I don't know. I think, I think Adam Antium would be a great receptor. I think maybe he's got, he's got a signal wherever he goes for whatever station he goes. Who is this? This is Logan. This is Wolverine. We're talking oh, gosh. About. You're back into... Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, we, see, was, I was still in my is own world. Is this why you hate him? No. This is, is this why, why he you likes hate me. Him? This is why he likes me, because I'm off in my own world, and you guys are having a real conversation. <laughs> right, 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 right. This, I get it. Now, <laughs> like I said, like, I just yay. I just brought him on here, so Don, he we'll makes, talk me, after, makes us but look better. He had yeah. to fill a mic. <laughs> I'm team Don. Yep. He had to fill a mic. Yep. I've been, I've been just desperate for guests lately. Or guest co-hosts, anyway. Hence why I'm sitting here. It's weird. I'm team Don, too. I didn't even know my own team. You're always great to have on the air you well, really are because you keep well, Donald, talking you've uh, always got stuff to say you've all you're always interesting well thank you very much mm-hmm. except that mma crap i could do with that <laughs> hey that's why i never talk about it there is a huge fight on, on saturday though oh huge. is there is there biggest fight of the year for sure oh, really? Conor, oh okay, khabib yeah. namagamadov huge 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 fight 
Okay. I caught Conor McGregor. I yeah, well, that's, that's anybody you know, who doesn't know anything about MMA still knows who Conor McGregor yeah. is. We yeah. had a Netflix special. Did he? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. no he, yeah, Notorious. He yeah. It was really, really good. I don't know if you watched it, but I it didn't. was really good. Even if you don't mm-hmm. like MMA, watch Notorious. Mm-hmm. It's really good. Yeah. It's not that I it's on Netflix. dislike MMA. I, I just never well, it's, have the time it's, to I mean, watch it is not. Yeah. It is certainly not for everybody. I mean, yeah. you know, football is not for everybody. Yeah. Right, right. You know, football. Men's soccer, apparently, <laughs> is for... That for is everybody, thing. because that's why they kicked me off the air for it. Because men's soccer is is definitely wow. was it like right state men's thing. soccer or was it just yeah. like okay. no, it wasn't like some random I was gonna team. Say, yeah, <laughs> it's almost worse though. Costa yeah. Rica's yeah, playing that's... Nicaragua this weekend. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Sorry, get, buddy. get Dawn yeah. off the air. Yeah. <laughs> Throw that on yeah. Yeah. a friendly game. Yeah, yeah. We, we'd much feed. rather listen to this because <laughs> it's. Phew. it's phew. He's got that Jeffrey Daniel guy on. Jeff Daniels. Jeff Daniels. Well, Everyone put him on the air. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you really should just call this just episode. Of Jeff. Jeff Daniels swings by. Yeah, and, that, and then the first thing. Yeah. first thing that, I have to do is apologize. Well, I'm doing, I'm doing. <laughs> I was going to call it Firebirds, and then the episode, <laughs> the episode two, you can call uh, Dawn After Dark because yeah. I'm really digging this new uh, this new time frame. Dawn After yeah. Dark. <laughs> Dawn After Dark, and you can see you could do D A W N if you want. Well, yeah, that's because it get all, yeah. Look at you with the word play. You yeah, are fantastic. welcome. <laughs> that is fantastic. All right, we're going to have to take a little break. Uh, we're going to play some Potter's Field. I know that's Potter's, a surprise. Potter's Field? Yeah. Who's that? Yeah, yeah, have, have you heard of them? <laughs> it's a great band. Uh, <laughs> I didn't mean to laugh because I enjoy. Sure. I enjoy some, some good, angry, uh, heavy metal. Mm-hmm. So I'm with you. And they, they just, uh, no, it was just an anniversary. They didn't put out a new song, I don't think so. He's been working on a new album for like a year, sure. and I haven't, you know. All right, we'll be back here shortly. Here's Little Potter's Feet. <laughs>
city. The law is down there. You lost your mind? According to my last psych evaluation. Yes. All right. What did you just say? <laughs> I wish I, was, I had I was gone on air hear... like a half a second earlier. Because <laughs> I'm pretty... <laughs> no, we're going to ignore that. Welcome back to the Life Radio Show. I'm your host, Don Smith, sitting in with my uh, with with my just wonderful uh, young co-host. Oh, young, uh, too. Oh, thank uh, you. oh wait. No, Je- no I, Jeffrey Daniels yeah, is yeah, still it's, here. It's still me. <laughs> it's still me. <laughs> and Kyle Steele is still sitting over there. He hasn't yeah. tried to sell us a house yet. I have not. Uh, not yet. I'm the youngest one here, yeah. and I look the oldest. Because he knows we're well, I got a lot. I got a little bit of gray there. I got a little bit of... Probably, yeah. probably still look older than you. Okay, I'll take that. I'll Sorry. take that. I'll just take the compliment and shut up. How there about that? Yeah. <laughs> well, welcome back from I'm the trying break. to sell you a house. That's how I guess. Well, welcome your back head. from the break. As if you guys went anywhere. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. we were just sitting we here. Just but we we'll here. pretend. We'll pretend like we just did not even see each other. Nope. During that whole you guys time, the song. <laughs> well, well, hey, yeah. I'm glad you came back. I, yeah. I was going to miss you if you if you came back, but <laughs> I don't know. No, yeah. <laughs> So we, we were going to talk a little bit about uh, about the eel Donald uh, Tiump. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Christ. At Old the Donald eel Tiump. Donald Tiump on Twitter. <laughs> Tump. Uh, Tump. Tump. I call it Tump, but I don't Tump. know. It's, okay. It would be Tiump, right? You, Tiump. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it is Tiump. Yeah. Tiump. Well, that's right. You just take the R's out. That's all it uh, is. Yeah, you just, just remove the R's. Yeah. I, yeah, re- no, I replaced the no, R's yeah. with E's. With E's, yeah. Okay, so that's that, well, that's, I replaced yeah, the R's with E's. Yeah. That's, that's, that's so what I thought. That's yeah. why yeah, I so went with T-Up. T-up. Cause then, then you, it's, I, I'm doing tump, a silent so. E thing. Tump, I don't know. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> I okay. He's not supposed to be there, I guess. So you're Kyle Stool. It's kind of. It sounds more German now. You should be a comic. Good job. Oh, my gosh. The funniest part of the Twitter is just when I get I get all the notifications on my phone, mm-hmm. so that way I can. And I'm I'm in the process of having somebody build me, um, like a macro mm-hmm. where I don't have to do anything. So just right, every time just it gets go oh, ahead and retreat, uh, retreat. I, I don't have to do. <laughs> it's like sort of a re- <laughs> retweet, yeah. But it's not though, because obviously I'm I'm taking right to it's explain an, the Twitter for it's an e tweet. There. You, right on man you're on look at it. you I am, like you should be a comic right. too Sharp both like of you too i am I proud right this thing. Thing. you yeah. absolutely <laughs> should you and scotty mays <laughs> yeah. just take we'll just over take it over yeah, yeah. just take just cord i'm gonna see if scotty's busy we'll too. try to get him <laughs> on the next show for the next 15 minutes <laughs> 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 yeah for the next we can get in here exactly he's around here somewhere you gotta salvage what I, something, something tells me Scotty just kind of walks up and down the hallways <laughs> waiting for someone to say his name. And he yeah. goes, oh, hey guys, I'm here. Yeah, I'm right here. <laughs> do I'm this. in the gym. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, uh, Scotty, please don't kill me. Yeah, please. The so, way, so the eel Donald Tiump. Sure. Yeah. yeah. It, just to explain it, <laughs> I mean, I take all of Donald Trump's tweets and I uh, replace the R's with E's. And that's it. That is it. That simple. You're doing that by hand right now. I'm doing it by hand right now. And I know it doesn't necessarily get a lot of public traction, but I Mm -hmm. get an immense amount of private traction. Mm -hmm. Democrats. Because I have the messages (laughs) opened. And I I mean, it's unreal. I get, uh, just since I've been here, I've gotten 10. (laughs) Wow. And I don't get notifications anymore. Now I just see it on the, the whatever. But I get notifications of Donald Trump's tweets, though. Mm -hmm. That way it triggers me to go in and do it. And I think Donald Trump's tweets trigger a lot of people. Here's the thing: yeah. that the, the worst part about this whole thing is that I have to read every, <laughs> every single one. <laughs> one of his. It's kind of like the Nick Cage thing. Like yeah, in order yeah. to do a in order podcast, to get 100 percent of this game completion, you have to <laughs> do 100 percent of it. Like you have to watch 100 percent of Nicolas Cage's movies. In order to do this Twitter, I have to read. Now, do you, do you tag it's like him? The macro. Do you no. tag him when you? No. Okay, because it's supposed to look like his Twitter, like it's really him. Just, yeah. You know, without yeah. R's and knees. And I'm sure that confuses a lot of people. Listen, yeah. I think most people just think it's Donald Trump. Yeah. I mean, honestly, like, it's, yeah, it's just. It, listen, tired. if I told you right now that Donald Trump just tweeted and he replaced all the R's with E's. That's would you really fetched. be that you're like you're that's, not you're not yeah. going to be like incredulous about it like, no, like that's oh, true that's, be like, that's eh. not that far out of bounds like, eh, yeah. i can see that sounds, sounds about right yeah. i mm-hmm. can see that that's that's pretty bad when you had to have a president when somebody says something like that yeah. and you're all just eh, i can see that i just want to hear him pronounce yusha instead of russia yeah because yeah. yusha because he says that a lot <laughs> yeah, well, that's uh, that's uh, where the checks come from. That's true. So- <laughs> ah. 
But the, 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 the I get messages constantly, and some I, of it I couldn't handle that. Some of it's <laughs> funny. Uh, some of it's some of it's really, really, really sad, like super <laughs> depressing. Like you know, my dad has cancer, and I mean, some of it's really sad. Why you're reaching out to the president about this stuff is beyond me, but it's still super sad. So they um, do they in some in I don't some accept circles, those they, requests yeah. when I when I cause yeah. you can read it before you accept it. Yeah. When I read one that's like really sad, I don't accept it. That's so that way right, it doesn't yeah. like send them a notification that like Donald Trump yeah, Tump Donald, accepted Donald, yeah. your request or whatever. But no. the ones that are, I get a lot of phone numbers. Um, and every, anytime I get a wow. tweet, I always go to, or anytime I get a message and I accept it, um, I just I go to their page to make sure it's not like a child, mm-hmm. and then I go back and I just message send nudes. To every person I accept, <laughs> and that's wonderful. Which, I, uh, which that's hasn't really worked yet. Um, no nudes yet. No, I mean I've had people send me nudes, but it's clearly not them. Right. So I'm hoping one day to, to actually get somebody. Well, to you send didn't me specify nudes of them. Well, no. the, the funny ones I get are like the, the ones that make me laugh are. Uh, I really love with your, what you're doing, Donald. Uh, you're doing a great job, Donald. <sighs> Uh, you know, I work for whatever contractor, um, and I just, I just think you're doing such a great job. You're making America great again. You know what? I'm going to be in D.C. in two weeks. Here's my phone number. Let's go grab lunch. And I'm thinking, like he's thinking, yeah. yeah and I'm reading like this going really, like, do you realize what it would take for the president, president to have yeah. lunch with you? Right. It would cost Probably taxpayers a yeah. million dollars yeah. to make that lunch happen. Like, are you out of your mind? Like, who uh, sends that? At the same time, he's he sent it, and he's got a certain feeling of, like, you yeah, know, he's going to read this. That guy yeah. the truly is gonna, believes. And what does he right, respond? That's, what what that does is, the president respond? Send, send nudes. nudes. Send that's nudes. the only thing I say. I do it every single time. I just say, send nudes. <laughs> that's wonderful. That's man. hilarious. I don't, I don't know why that. I, I have to clearly ask. Clearly, it's funny. I this is the last ask. person I just got. What what was this person saying? President, I voted for you, stood by you, prayed for you. I just want you to stand proud in your positions, demand respect. I so I accepted it and send news. Send news. There it is. <laughs> so the guy I do it every time. to have lunch. Uh, did he send nudes? He did just not. Said, oh well, he did not. No lunch for I him. I get blocked no a lot. Right. I, when I do the send nudes, I get blocked. <laughs> People realize that. I, that's well, amazing. The, the Clearly, is, I'm not the president. The thing is, that the real Donald Trump <laughs> might listen. Right, he exactly. might. He, he always might be probably say his yeah, nudes. That's his regular that's kind of, response. I think that's why I find it funny. Is like, up. there's a real possibility that like our president could say something like oh, that. Yeah. So that's, why not? That oh, yeah. is a frightening. So thought, why not? I love it. <laughs> there's also no R's in sin nudes, so that's really that's, why. Yeah, so that's really why it works. Oh, that is great. <laughs> <laughs> I figured that extra little piece of it would be good. That is good. But I, I, I like the idea just, just you don't change anything on the tweet other than the yeah. R's for ease. <laughs> which, that, which I don't even understand, understand you, why. How many followers do you have, just out of curiosity? I, it, it fluctuates. Well, I'm sure a lot of block. It, yeah. It, yeah, it fluctuates <laughs> drastically. Yeah. Like it'll shoot up to. I like, mean, say you've never sent the sin nudes. <laughs> <laughs> How many do, do you think you would have? I, many, pr- probably about twenty thousand. How many See, followers crazy, do you have man. in communist countries? That's the question. <laughs> yeah. You're probably a hit. You're probably right? like a, I'm a you're, huge you're a star. The bots love and me. And you just don't know about. Yeah. <laughs> I, but I don't follow. I don't follow anybody except Donald Trump. I thought about like just following random. Like I, I, I had an idea. I don't remember what it was now. I was gonna follow like a series of people. That all were like named Fred. I don't know why. <laughs> so I was just gonna follow like six why people not? named Fred. Oh, that's funny. I have no idea why. <laughs> why not? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, that'd be, that'd be feed. Don, these are the things I find funny. Yeah, that'd be feed. Feed. Yeah, exactly. Right. You, well, you, you, you title it Freds, like Fred. Well, yeah, right. yeah. Well, it, it's funny. There is a uh, there's a Facebook page. That is just called it. All it is, it's it, and it's called right in the title, and it gets like millions of views. Uh-huh. And all it is is the same picture of uh, what's his name. Uh, uh, I can't even think of his name now. The uh, Jeff Goldblum. Okay, so. oh. and that's all it is—the same picture of Jeff Goldblum every day. <laughs> 
And that's all they do is they post the same exact picture. With a different picture. caption or something? No. no. Just, <laughs> just a, that's all they do is the same picture every single there's day. A, there's a Facebook. And they get like 20,000 likes on every us. picture. That's wonderful. <laughs> there's a Facebook page, and I don't remember the exact name, but I'm going to be pretty close. It's called Things Filled with Beans That Aren't Supposed to Be Filled with Beans. <laughs> <laughs> it is hilarious. Uh, it, is, it is exactly what it sounds you like. You've got to outside the box. It is yeah. people just posting like a VCR filled with beans <laughs> and like a cereal box filled with beans. That's, That's great. literally all that it is. Now, do these beans have to be uncooked? Or I don't think it like, matters. Just- yeah, I, think it's I don't just, think it matters as long point. as it's beans inside something that's not supposed yeah. to have beans. Although I will say, uh, some things it's much harder to get refried beans inside of. Yeah. Sure, yeah, like the cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez! I think it's time Jesus. for some new stories. <laughs> new stories. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm heading out. Here comes yeah. the news. Yeah. I was like, I'm done. Uh, I'm well, done. we'll go with the religious one that you guys didn't want to do. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, St. Mary's Cathedral in Australia is taking heat for implementing a quote tap and go collection plate. <laughs> similar to what you see, Donald Trump. <laughs> yep, similar to what you would see at McDonald's. These devices allow patrons, or in this case, parishioners, to tap their chip-enabled credit cards and pay a certain amount. The Roman Catholic Cathedral on, in Sydney announced the move on on its Facebook page, but the outcry was so swift that the post was deleted soon after. Though, as always, someone took a screenshot. Uh, quote, multiple payments of $10 can be made by tapping your card once with se- with several seconds in between each transaction. Uh, that's what the post said. Mm. Uh, multiple mm. payments of, t- <laughs> of $10. Jeez. The response was certainly not all negative and seemed more focused on the minimum donation being $10. Uh, St. Mary's followed up on the outcry by thanking those who made, quote, rational and coherent comments about the new collection <laughs> plates. <laughs> Uh, I mean, the idea is solid if you're a church, but the name Tap and Go is right. yeah. dicey. Yeah. It's dicey. <laughs> Especially for a Catholic. I'm yeah, sure yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That yeah, is, that is <laughs> real dicey. Same technology yeah. to communion soon. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. You, you get, your communion, at you as you you walk get your communion wafer from a vending yeah. machine. Is what right. <laughs> uh, yeah, that is dicey at best. <laughs> Would you like would you like a diet coke with your body of Christ? Yeah. <laughs> Why not? We can Why do not? that here. Well, uh Kyle can't. He's uh, I cannot. I, have my, I got my Sprite uh, 0. Would you yep, like a Sprite 0 with yes, your body? Yes. I would. Okay, I would. <laughs> uh stealing oregano from a marijuana dispensary is a dopey thing to do. <laughs> But Pun. that's what but that's what a group of Colorado thieves allegedly did early Wednesday after crashing a stolen minivan through the glass front of Native Roots, a Colorado Springs pot shop. Uh, police said after the break in with the with the van, several accomplices entered the store from a different vehicle and carried out what they probably assumed were containers of marijuana. The burglars loaded the loot into a getaway car and drove west, leaving the van behind. Uh, police officers, a, a police officer spotted the getaway car and tried to pull up according to reports. Instead, the fleeing driver hit the police cruiser and then sped away. The cruiser sustained minor damages and the thieves escaped. Although the suspects were still, are still, were still on the loose. They probably aren't high on the proceeds of their heist. <laughs> Turns out the vials, they may have looked, may have looked like they contain marijuana, but were fill, items filled with oregano, according to Colorado Springs Gazette. Oregano. Why would they fill with oregano? What? Yeah, My guess are, would be a display or a decoy. Well, this was yeah. That, this was all. Six, this was a sting a operation. Is what? Yeah, this was a sting operation. Is all this was? Okay. Somebody, somebody got wind that they were going to drive through there. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, I was you not so. put like a tracking device in that stuff? You know. Right. That would have made more. It's going to be a sting. Yeah, that would have made much more sense. Mm-hmm. And uh, maybe the the guy in the police cruiser didn't think they were going to hit him. Is he it thought. Really, for, yeah, there's a good heist movie with Nicolas Cage yeah. <laughs> called The Trust. Let me tell you about this. It's good. It's a good movie. It is that check exact it out. Plot. Do you have to turn everything into? <laughs> I do. At this point, <laughs> everything has already been. It's turned the only into way that I could think. Cage yeah, it's like it's like The Simpsons. Like The Simpsons did it. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, Nicolas Cage has been Nicolas in the movie. Cage about it. Did it. How, how much? How much of your life have you devoted to the Nicolas Cage? Oh, podcast? we we actually did like, a calculation when we did the second. But you got to think most movies are about hour forty five, yeah, right. With going all the way up to about two twenty and all the way down to mm-hmm. just under an hour and a half, mm-hmm. and you know it's seventy seventy six regular movies and then an additional about fifteen bonus movies. So in total, you know you're you're 
getting close to 100 movies. Yeah. Too much. So, much like, so it's a, a lot. It's Wait, several days. <laughs> when did that yeah, happen? Yeah, right? Yeah. But yeah, yep, there's a second one. Does yeah. it look like Nick Cage? Was oh. it? Everything oh, starting to look like Nicolas Cage. Like Nick Cage. <laughs> That's right. It's like that out that uh, that bot that put Nicolas Cage in every single movie in existence. Oh, I think I heard that something AI about bot. that. It's in, in Nicholas Cage. Nicholas Cage plays every character in every movie in existence. Oh, in this bot, it's pretty incredible. So hell, you've described hell. That's what you've described. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's what. That's what that is. There, there was there was a story I did uh, that's been years ago about a there was like some kind of a uh, it's kind of a prison cell sort of it was like a challenge where they had like five Nicholas Cage, Cage, Cage yeah Cage yeah yeah, it was, yeah and that's it was something along those lines yeah. where there were like five Nicholas Cage movies going at one time and you had to sit there and watch them <laughs> five Nicks in yeah. there when Nick leaves <laughs> yeah that would be uh, I, I think that's against the I Geneva Convention actually. Right. Oh yeah, you you could do it with that. your eyes closed. They've taken away Nobel Back, Peace Prize. I'd rather do it that way. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Florida man took extraordinary steps to prevent his pickup from being re- repossessed, but failed spectacularly. Uh, Johannes Lopez, which those two names do not go yeah. together at all, yeah. uh, of Homestead, discovered earlier this month that the repo man's tow truck had hooked up to his Ford F two fifty and had hoisted the rear re- rear wheels off the ground preparing to haul it away lopez had fallen behind on his payments according to the police report obtained by the orlando sentinel uh he told the tow truck tow truck driver see i can't talk Mm -hmm. but i said gastrointestinal with no problem you nailed that one (laughs) (laughs) he told the tow truck driver that he just wanted to to take a few items out of the pickup before it was towed instead lopez jumped in the cab fired up the pickup and attempted to drive away while it was still attached to the tow truck he didn't make it very far. No. Because it was a four-wheel drive. Sure. So the rear wheels were up off the ground, but the front, the front wheels, wheels could still, still go. Yeah. And it actually pulled the tow truck up. Really? Yep. <laughs> and then he wrecked. Wonderful. <laughs> yes, it was uh, only in for Florida. A, for a car. It's like, why just let your car get repossessed? Well, because he lived in the trailer, and if he got evicted, he'd have nowhere to go. <laughs> this, <laughs> yeah, this is like, Florida, man. Where else is he going to live? Yeah, this he wanted Florida. to move. I've, I noticed three out of every four news things you do on here. Oh, it's Florida. Florida. I like, love Florida, Florida news. <laughs> yeah. Florida and Virginia's good, too. We should start a website called, like, yeah, Florida. Florida News or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure Florida News is taken, but I oh, might yeah. be able to come up with something clever and just repost uh, funny news from Florida. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, oh i gotta uh, this is this is one that, okay we just one last one is it florida uh, thankfully well it starts off the first word in this news in story is spanky oh, so, okay. <laughs> i'll allow it spanky and pippin are literally party animals in the los angeles night uh, nightlife scene the nigerian dwarf goats are professional party goers bringing their special brand of magic to the city celebrations and starry soirees so-called goat mom scout raskin a lifelong animal lover and former child actor which often go together (laughs) uh set up party goats la in early 2017 and charges 99 dollars an hour to bring her goats to a party or event one of the most popular interactions with the goats at parties is to have them jump onto revelers backs while they kneel on all fours the revelers, not the goats. Uh, st- student Torian Mylot, uh, 20, said the experience was fun and therapeutic. Probably not for the goats. It was probably <laughs> disturbing. Uh, she said they're so friendly and they're just so nice to be around because you can finally tell, you can definitely tell they love humans and they're just a lot of fun. You already right. said that. If if they're not referred to as party goaters, then, yeah. <laughs> then I, don't, I want don't nothing, nothing to do with that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, party goats. That mm-hmm. is party who, goaters. That, that is such a uh, novel idea and I'm so dumb that <laughs> it would only yeah. fly in L.A. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's a uh, yeah. Oh, no, we just figured out what because you John, can't have an L.A. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what, this, this, what he's yep, doing. Ed John's Ed's out there. Yeah, that was the that's job right. offer. He you want to be a party goat job. wrangler? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was a goaterman job. It was a goaterman job. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, you know. Shoo! I'll allow it. Yeah, yeah. Bill allow it. I won't get off there. <laughs> the way this show's been going, yeah, why, yeah, not? Yeah, why, why not? not? We'll just but uh, party goats. That does sound like just such mm-hmm. a dumb thing that it does. But why it's, not? It's hard but to know. Like uh, so much about LA is is 
steeped in irony. Mm-hmm. That it's just hard yeah. to know what's real and what's not. Yeah. Well, it that's put, true. It, that's it true. Puts, it's yes. such an ironic place to be. You're just like, <laughs> but I don't know what. Much like the president asking for nudes. Uh, <laughs> we just, we just this, don't know. this is very believable because it's L.A. Well, yeah. so it's like you know, L.A. is kind of like that. It's you hear something weird about it, and you think, yeah, probably. Yeah, no. <laughs> and they, they totally cornered Sounds the market right. on it too. Yeah. I mean, they, well, but, yeah. How many party goat companies but, well, will there be? There was Fiesta yeah. Sheep, but put those, well, yeah, put yeah, those yeah right that, out that's of, true. That's true. You know, yeah, I forgot were, about yeah. Fiesta Sheep. People with Ford Fiesta <laughs> were showing up and just, Fiesta Sheep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And then there was Burrow Bash. Burrow Bash. Yeah, the Burrow Bashers and the yeah. I was trying to think of bar, bar mitzvah burrows. <laughs> bar mitzvah burrows. That's a good one. Yeah. And it's kosher, too. Yeah. So. Now, party pork. That's what <laughs> party we pork. need. Party pork. That's, <laughs> we could just keep this going. This has yeah. devolved. Yes. Yes. Yeah, let's, yeah. Let's, yeah, let's get let's, out of this. Okay. Do we want to do another news story, or uh, do we just want more. to get the hell off one the air? More. You already said running. it was the last one, so let's okay. lie to them, too. Okay. <laughs> Okay, well, we'll see if we can find a good one. Let's, let's see. Uh, no. You brought good ones? Why wouldn't no. we be doing those? <laughs> why Why not? Uh, let's see. There's a drunk guy. There's a uh, an Irishman. Uh, <laughs> and not in the same story? Uh, well, okay, sorry. Two drunk guys. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. There's nothing. There's nothing else. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> Well, this one's a video. You have to see the video for it. Uh, a wild video captured in the waters of New Zealand over the weekend. Kyle Mullinder, a self-described, quote, uh, GoPro content creator, okay. was kayaking with friends off the coast of uh, Kaikaru. Uh, I don't know. It's it's Australia, so just sure. yeah. something weird. It's Kikaru. Uh, yeah, Kikaru. Kikaru. It's off the coast of Kikaru. That's right. If you're going to uh, read it, read when, it right. When all of a sudden, <laughs> uh, what was likely a New Zealand fur seal... Not a fur seal, a fur seal. A fur seal. Uh, An animal in the same family as sea lions broke the surface and smacked him in the face with an octopus. Take that. (laughs) (laughs) I had a a shamalon, a shamabom. Let's see. Uh, 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 Tayo Masuda, another GoPro videographer who was also on the trip, posted the jaw-dropping moment on to Instagram on Sunday, complete with slow motion version. If you like your, to, if you like to uh, octopi your time with that sort of thing, oh. Oh. I didn't write that when that it was, was funny, in there. Mike. Yeah. Oh. I like that. But yes, the video it is it is exactly what it said. He's on his kayak. <laughs> he's filming. And out of nowhere, a seal pops up out of the water with an octopus in his mouth and, and smacks, smacks him, him with in the it. face with the octopus. Yeah, I bet, I bet you that comes from because uh, sea lions and, and I'm seals are surprised no, they, they, you they, haven't said something about being sucker punched they, yet. They, they, <laughs> they tenderize the octopus on rocks and stuff like that, and apparently on and apparently kayakers on Aussies because that's right. yeah, that's that's, that's right. kiwis. Oh, he's a Kiwi. Yeah, because they're in New Zealand. Oh, well, yeah. So. Okay. Because <laughs> it's not the same thing. Exactly. It's, it's not. not. It's not. It's not. Well, I guess, yeah, we, we Texas is a totally separate thing here, so it's kind of the same thing, isn't it? Yeah. Like, you can be an American or you can be a Texan. Yeah. Like, you can't. Yeah, doesn't go hand yeah, in hand. Yeah, you don't identify. Like, if you're a Texan, you don't identify as it. Like, I'm a Texan boy. <laughs> you know, I'm not from Aussie. I lived in Texas. I'm a Kiwi. So that's very yeah. accurate. Is it? Did you? I did. I lived in Texas. Did you? So did you feel like like it's it's a separate thing? Isn't it, it is. It feels like that. I lived in El Paso, so I, I, I was more like in New Mexico, but mm-hmm. still. So you were New York City? Is that? No, it's more of like oh, an that's arm, Pace Picante, It's more of like an it? armpit. That was. Yeah. <laughs> All more right, Jersey. It's more like Jersey. El Paso. <laughs> it's the the Jersey yeah. of the West. It's, yep, it's, it's, the, it's the Jersey of Texas. It's I love El Paso. <sighs> But it, it, in Texas, how Texas views El Paso yeah. is how New Yorkers view New Jersey. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. I can see that. Well, we're going to have to go ahead and, and sign off. It, is, it has been a pleasure it being has. back on the yeah. air again after two weeks being stuffed in a closet with a bunch of guys to record. It was wonderful. Uh, we, yeah, we actually get to feel like a real radio show again, mm-hmm. and I uh, I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Mm-hmm. And I'm so I won't. To. So. <laughs> <laughs> Like Although it. if I bring you back the next time you you're on, cry, you, yeah. I, it is Three a possibility. Cry, yeah, I'm that's you haven't <laughs> down yet, yeah. I've been pretty close a couple times. Yeah. Kyle, uh, thanks for coming on. You, uh, plug away, plug plug yourself. Oh, you can check out the, the <laughs> podcast, the Nicholas the Nicholas Cage Movie Review Hour. Uh, 
like I said, it's almost done, but obviously the catalog will still be there. So a lot of fun. feel free to check out any Nicolas Cage movie. Go on Netflix, watch whatever's there, then mm-hmm. pop over to the podcast and listen to our episodes. We take a very unacademic approach. Oh yeah, we well, don't, yeah, we don't that's, academically that's, break that's down. That's the best anything. way to watch them. Is mm-hmm. it, the best way to listen to the podcast is to watch the movie first and then see. And how, listen to us yeah. just BS about it for an yeah. hour, and yeah. that's about it. Yeah. Word. Jeff's been on it. Don's been on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah we both. We both uh, I had Jeff, a great, I had a great uh, time when I was doing it. Do you have anything coming up? I know you said you'd be at Wiley Sunday I'll, night. I'll we'll both we'll both be at Wiley Sunday night, eight o'clock, five dollars. Wiley Sunday mm-hmm. Comics, best entertainment value in town. And now I have nothing to plug. And so now you, uh, well, we no, we object. we co plug. Yeah, we, You're was, my co host. We co plug. It was a co plug. We, sh- we shared the plug. <laughs> yeah, we plugged each we other. We shared Jeff. the plug. Yeah. <laughs> Pass me that hand sanitizer, will you? Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. really, like it's I've, I've got do, that coming uh, up. I do open mics throughout the week. Normally Monday, I'll hit a couple. I think you actually talked about a couple of them. Hannah's, Holly's, Holly's, yep. Uh, Thursdays, uh, you know, I I try and do open mics throughout the week. Yeah, I'll be you'll, on you'll, Mike, yeah, Mike you'll Jay. you'll see Jeff hanging around real comics from time to time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I like to, I like to rub elbows, hoping some funny will rub yeah. off on me. It hasn't yet. Yep. I mean, I'll be on. Uh, uh, try Louis C.K. <laughs> <laughs> rub off hey, on you. Won't you? <laughs> Uh, I'll be on uh, Mike Talks Funny. Mike Shea is oh, coming yeah. back out there with his go. podcast, and, and it's some funny, funny stuff. He has funny people on there. For some reason, he asked me to. So, again, <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll be on that. I think that's dropping here in the next day or week. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I mean, check into it. Like I said, yeah. Mike Talks uh, even, Funny. Even Tide Entertainment funny. Podcast. E- yeah. Even TideENT.com. You, can, find, you yeah. can also find episodes of the Life Radio Show on there. Yeah. And new, new to the Even Tide family from WWSU. Yeah, mm. Ohio is on fire with we Dan are. Diesel. That's is right. now part of the Eventide Entertainment Podcast family. And I've been hearing some some waves. It's been making some waves. Or Dan, Dan Dan's a great guy. Dan, yeah. Dan, if you haven't been on uh, Ohio's on fire, Dan, it's a it's a great show to be on. It's I just a lot did of it fun. recently. I have, yep, to, yep, I have to check Dan. it out. You have to hook me up. Yeah. Send me yeah. a link or something. I'll definitely look into it. Yeah, because I think you're on one of his first episodes with Eventide. So mm-hmm. yeah. I yeah, I just did an episode like a. Yep. A week ago. Yeah, because yeah. he, ju- he just joined a couple weeks ago. So. Very cool. Yeah. Nice. Welcome aboard, Dan. We're going to get the heck off of here, and uh, we'll see you next week. Uh, actually, we won't, because next week, there's another game. So uh, I'm going to pre-record That's this right. Saturday, so you'll get to find out what I'm thinking Saturday morning on Tuesday night. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Life Radio Show podcast. Check us out on Eventide Entertainment Podcast Network or wherever you listen to podcasts. Remember, if you want to listen live, we're on Tuesdays from 7 to 9 p.m. on WWSU 106.9 FM with a repeat broadcast on Wednesdays from noon to 2, or you can always stream the show live at WWSU1069.org. If you have suggestions or comments, feel free to email thelife1069 at gmail.com. Uh, you're doing a great job, Don.